We're back now with that lawsuit accusing an NFL player of seducing someone else's wife. The scorned husband suing Philadelphia Eagles star Flexer Cox for alienation of affection and thousands of dollars, $50,000. ABC's Ryan Smith is here with that story for us. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Robin. You know, Joshua Jeffords claims that his happy marriage was ended by an affair between NFL star Fletcher Cox and his wife. And now he's using an obscure law on the books in only a handful of states to strike back. He's known for being an unstoppable force on the football field. Fletcher Cox. And the defensive leader of one of the NFL's best teams. Fletcher Cox comes in to get the sack. But this morning, Philadelphia Eagles defensive tackle Fletcher Cox sacked with a lawsuit for allegedly seducing another man's wife. Basically ruined my life because um, I thought I was going to be with this woman forever. According to these documents filed in North Carolina, the two-time pro bowler being sued for alienation of affection. 34-year-old Joshua Jeffords, a former sergeant in the Marines, claiming his marriage to wife Catherine was destroyed after she met Cox on a business trip in March. Our marriage was excellent from the moment I first saw her. I knew I was going to marry her. I thought um, definitely she was my soulmate. The lawsuit alleging an adulterous affair ensued, and the two stayed in touch via Snapchat and text. Cox allegedly texting her, I want to get you pregnant. Catherine responding, we'd make some damn beautiful babies. I found uh, some pictures that he had sent to her that I found highly inappropriate. I know that she texted him after I had found out and the only thing she texted was he knows. North Carolina is only one of seven states that allows so-called alienation of affection lawsuits. In 2010, a North Carolina woman won a $9 million judgment against the alleged mistress of her husband of 33 years. As for the Jeffords, Joshua says they split shortly after he confronted his wife over the alleged relationship. Joshua says he was admitted to a treatment facility for substantial emotional distress and is seeking at least $50,000 in damages. He's taken about everything from me that anyone could have taken that was important to me. Cox, who signed a six-year, $102 million contract last year, has yet to respond to the lawsuit. Josh's estranged wife, Catherine, did not respond to our request for comment, and the pair are separated, according to Joshua. As you said in the piece, alienation of affection, yeah. only available in, what, seven states? Yeah, it's only in a handful of states, and essentially you have to prove that there was love in the marriage, that the marriage was broken, and that the defendant in some way caused that disruption. How do you disrupt that? that? Well, it's like a really? divorce proceeding? There's a couple of things you can do. For example, an affair is, is, is part of that, but then there are things that he can use to defend that. He can say, for example, I didn't know they were married, things like that. But you're talking about $9 million in one case, $1.4 million in another case in 2001, a million and another. Why wouldn't there's, he sue for more? He sued for fifty thousand. Well, I think there's been a movement to reduce the penalties from it, and that might have happened here. Or he might just simply be trying to say, "This is my cost. This is what I feel I've suffered, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm going to try to get." But this is on the books in a couple of different states. Wow, who knew? Yeah. Wow. yeah. In seven of them, a lot of eyeballs <laughs> opened up in those seven states. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Rod. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.